to the new revelations about the Uvalde Police Department and what a top Texas safety official calls its, quote, abject failure to confront the gunman who killed 19 children and two teachers. Maria Villarreal has the latest on the investigation. As new surveillance images emerge from inside Robb Elementary School during the deadly mass shooting, Overnight, city council members denying the school's embattled police chief, Pete Arredondo, the chance to take a leave of absence from his duties. I make a motion we do not grant the leave of absence for Councilman Arredondo. This, as the actions of officers that day, get a searing indictment inside the Texas Senate. There's compelling evidence that the law enforcement response to the attack at Robb Elementary was an abject failure. The director of the Texas Department of Public Safety insisting police could have stopped the deadly attack three minutes after it began. The only thing stopping a hallway of dedicated officers from entering room 111 and 112 was the on-scene commander who decided to place the lives of officers before the lives of children. This image obtained by ABC affiliate KVIEW showing officers equipped with rifles and a ballistic shield they could have used to storm the room at 11.52 a.m. More shields and rifles seen in this image first obtained by the Texas Tribune at 12.04 p.m. And then this image first obtained by the New York Times showing nearly a dozen officers in the hallway at 12.46 p.m. moments before they finally took down the gunman. The massacre lasting 77 minutes. The officers had weapons. The children had none. The officers had body armor. The children had none. The officers had training. The subject had none. One error, 14 minutes and eight seconds. That's how long the children waited and the teachers waited in rooms 111 to be rescued. McCraw also saying officers wasted time searching for a key for a door that wasn't locked. While dozens of officers waited, kids were calling 911 from inside for over 40 minutes. Is there anybody inside of the building? Tyler is advising he is in the room full of victims, full of victims at this moment. New testimony revealing the chief had no radio to communicate with dispatchers and police radios were not working inside the school. Arredondo spotted Tuesday after testifying in a closed hearing. What do you think to say to the parents? He recently told the Texas Tribune he felt he was in an impossible situation and wanted to save as many lives as possible. But McCraw says Arredondo made terrible decisions. Uh, mistakes were made. It should have never happened that way. Families now demanding transparency. Vinny Salazar lost his 11-year-old daughter, Layla. I want to know what took them so long to act. If they've got nothing to hide, then they, everything should be open to the public so that we can hear what happened. More testimony is expected today here in Austin on gun safety and on mental health, but a lot of state legislators are calling on Governor Greg Abbott to call a special session. They don't want to just talk about what happened. They want to change the laws, but the only way that can happen is if they are in session. George. Okay, Maria, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.